okay let's just get it started hello this is the booktube newbie tag booktube is the part of youtube where people talk about books why does everything have to have a name anyway so this is a list of 10 questions some of them i've looked through some of them are really not so yeah the first question why did you start this channel this feels like the inquisition do i really have to answer this i think the main reason i said was because i want to be able to capture my reaction my initial reaction to the books i read because i feel like i forget everything like all the time someone has mentioned a book and i'm like i've read that and then i try and remember what my actual reaction was did i like it did i hate it why particularly did i like it or why particularly did i hate it or even the plot listen even the plot or like the main plot twist at least i can't even remember those things so i'm like come on i don't know whether anything has to do with providing entertainment or providing advice i feel like reading is such a subjective thing and i will provide my analysis and my reviews from my perspective in my opinion and everyone else probably has different opinions that's absolutely fine so i feel like when you're watching this channel just keep that in mind like d like the things you like hate the things you hate it's not a must everyone likes the same things i feel like people especially with the internet age especially on twitter because twitter is the ninth circle of hell really feel like we all have to agree on absolutely everything that's totally false next question what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube now these are the questions that make me nervous is this an interview is this a job interview because i wasn't prepared no one told me i had to bring my cv what i feel like the only thing i can say i can bring to booktube is myself and my personality and my this i don't know we'll see we'll determine together what exactly it is i'm bringing to booktube hopefully it's books that are not talked about often i feel like booktube is full of booktube all usually fixates on the same books like a book will come out and everyone is talking about it i will have those moments definitely but i feel like i will also be covering mostly other things i'll be covering a lot of comics and manga and manhwa and other stuff because that's all reading by the way that's a conversation for another day but it's literally called a comic book hello it's a book you are reading you are valid the third question what are you most excited for about this new channel i feel like i don't see a lot of african booktubers i mean maybe i'm just in my own corner of youtube probably i am but a lot of african like the very successful african channels i've seen are story time or family vlogs or just generally vlogging yeah i feel like i don't see anyone talking about books like exclusively talking about books yeah that's what i'm excited about just talking about books from my perspective something else i should have mentioned on why i started this channel this is me not being able to stick to anything this is not a surprise is that i want to read a wider variety of books i also want to start reading more african books the only reason i don't do that too much i do but not too much is mostly because i feel most of them are contemporary and i don't really read a lot of that genre like i haven't even read the fault in our stars or watched the movie <laughs> is that a, i'm not even sure if it's a contemporary it's a contemporary in my head it's a contemporary novel so let's not let's not argue about this i am proving a point let me live that's another answer to question one fourth question why do you love reading this is probably the most natural answer i'll have it's because it's a form of escapism for me like it just takes me away from reality for however long i'm able to immerse myself in a book and in this on this channel you'll see me talking a lot about how much a certain book was able to draw me into that world because that's mostly what i feel like i get out of reading just being transported and i read a lot of fantasy as well i feel like that's probably why because fantasy is literally the impossible the fantastical the magical the out of this world so ever since i was a kid i was just always looking to get out of this world this is sounding more and more depressing question five what book or series got you into reading i really can't say i can't say for sure i think i've just always been a reader which is a really irritating answer but i have an answer to a slightly different question i just mentioned that i read a lot of fantasy and i think the book that got me into reading that genre mostly is 
the chronicles of narnia the chronicles of narnia was a book i got when i was about 11 this is what class 5 grade 5 what are they calling it now i have no idea of the school system that's going on so i was in class 5 when i got the series and i bought it at nakumat i'll never forget i was with my mom and i bought it at nakumat and the guy at the the teller when we were checking out our stuff was like this is for you because it's a it's a series of seven books how many books are there seven i'm just gonna say seven and i'm gonna stick with that if i'm rewriting history i've rewritten history but it's and i bought it was a, a box set so it was all of them at once in like this thing that was my first series of books that was like yes this is what i want to invest my time in of course i read other genres but that's the book that i can really remember pivoting my reading habits and reading lifestyle question six what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers i have no idea honestly maybe i just ask them like why do you all do the same things <laughs> okay i get it it's because the book has just come out everyone wants to know what that book is about everyone wants to know what their favorite booktubers think of the book so they have to make those videos but intersperse it with other stuff so i don't really have a question for them but this is some, that's something i idly think about when i generally think of you booktube Question seven, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? For me, it's just consistency. And this is not really a booktube thing. This is just a YouTube thing. This is just a life thing. Consistency. I feel like YouTube channels succeed or fail based on consistency. Like that's a huge thing. It's like if there's a list of things of why, you know, YouTube channels succeed or don't succeed or whatever. The top three, somewhere on the top three is definitely your consistency. And let's say, i have commitment issues but that's definitely gonna be the hardest thing for me so wish me good luck question eight when did you start reading it was those peter and jane books probably i it's been forever i mean at the core of me i'm shy and this was at its peak when i was a kid i started reading to just stay away from the world like that was the way i occupied myself i guess question nine where do you read mostly in bed i read a lot before I go to sleep. My routine is I read this may go late into the night. It often does. I read and then I watch something. So either on YouTube or a movie or Netflix or whatever and then I sleep. So usually if I've been out the whole day, if uh, you know things are normal, the one time I'm sure 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 I'll read is before I sleep. So I mostly read in bed. Question 10. What kind of books do you like to read? I've already answered this question. Uh, as I said, fantasy, science fiction. There is something I'm planning to do with the fantasy and science fiction genre, which I shall announce soon. If you're looking forward to whatever it is I'm going to announce, my social media thingies are in the description. If you want to subscribe, if you want to like, if you don't want to, what? It's a free world. Please follow your heart. Do what you want. See you in the next one.